Highland Middle School Huskies. This is Mr. Judge, and I am here today to talk to you a little bit about our reopening plan. We are so incredibly excited to welcome you back to the middle school on Monday. So, first I want to go over the fact that yes, we are taking baby steps in our reopening plan. So the only people coming into the building on Monday, October 5th, are the sixth graders. And you will be coming in on the hybrid model according to your last name. So your first day in the building will either be Monday or Tuesday. And then the following week, we will be adding back in the seventh graders into the building. And then finally, on the last week, we will be adding back in the eighth graders to our building. When you arrive to school, depending on how you arrive to school, you will go through a fast screening process. If you take the bus to school, your bus will take your temperature. And when you arrive to school, you will be let off the bus and let into the building as the bus arrives. So you're not going to be sitting on the bus waiting for all the buses to line up. You will be welcomed into the building so long as everyone on that bus has had their temperature already taken. And people arriving on the bus will walk through the main entrance of the building. Also, if you walk to school, you will enter at that same main entrance, but you will need to stop at a desk with our staff members for a quick temperature check. In order to be let into our building, your temperature needs to be below 100. We ask that you not arrive to the building prior to 720. If you are a walker and you get here before 720, you will need to wait outside until that time. If you get driven to school, we ask that you drive all the way around the back of the building and then stop at the student drop off sign at the end of the sidewalk and please stay in your car. When a staff member comes up to your car, roll down the window and we will check your temperature without you getting out. As long as you do not have a temperature, at that time you will be allowed to get out of the car and you can walk up that sidewalk and enter the side of the building. When you enter the building, regardless of if it is from the bus or the car, you're going to go to one of these places. If you are eating breakfast, you will go to the cafeteria to get your breakfast and you can stay there and eat it. If you are in the sixth grade, you will make your way to the gym. Same with the seventh graders and you will be socially distanced in the gym until release the first period and eighth graders will go upstairs and all along the front hallway, there are paws. They are six feet apart. And if you stand or sit on your paw and wait patiently for first period to start, you will be released at that time. As you make your way through the building, hallway traffic is very important in order to eliminate congestion. In order to do so, we have signs and pause on the floor to remind you to stay to the right. If you walk all the way on the right side of the hallway and put distance between you and the person in front of you, it will help to make sure that we remain safe. Also, the various stairwells between the floors are one way. So some of them only are for going up, some are only for coming down. And there is a lot of signs all around for you to be able to know if that is an up or a down stairwell. So please do pay attention. If you have never been in our building before, like most sixth graders, don't you worry, there's going to be plenty of people around to show you where to go. No need to be lost, just stop and ask. We will have lots of friendly faces all throughout the building to help you find your way. In your classrooms, there are some additional safety procedures. Not only are you sitting six feet away from each other, but should something happen to your mask and you need a new one, ask your teacher and we will have extra masks. 
On your first day of school, you will also be provided one cloth mask that you can take home, use, and wash. All of your classrooms do have rags with a spray bottle to sanitize areas as needed. And every single time you walk into a new room, regardless of what the room is, mounted on the wall is a container of hand sanitizer. You are required to sanitize your hands every single time you enter a new room. Also, as long as the weather permits, teachers are encouraged to have their windows open and to take their classes outside if the weather and the lesson allows for it. Now we know from time to time wearing a mask all day can be a bit much and you might need a mask break. If you do need a mask break, you must ask the permission of the adult in the room. And as long as no one else in the room is currently taking a mask break, they will let you. And it's one person at a time. And a mask break is not designed to be long, just a couple of seconds to catch your breath Take a quick break. It should definitely be less than a minute. It is not a long period of time. And then you will be asked to put your mask back on. If you have to use the bathroom throughout the day, there is one set of student bathrooms open per floor, and there will be a friendly monitor outside of the bathroom to ensure that it is only one person in the bathroom at a time for social distancing. So we do ask for your patience. The student bathrooms that will be open for use is there's one next to the home and careers room on the second floor, and then the first floor bathroom is directly below that. Again, don't you worry if you don't know where that is, we will have plenty of signage and adults in the hallways to help you find your way. When it is time for lunch, you will go to the cafeteria or the gym. If you are buying lunch, you certainly need to go to the cafeteria and there is a socially distanced line with paw stickers on the ground and our lunch line will just be one way this year. So you would enter the cafeteria from the front entrance near the main lobby of the school and find your way to an open spot on the line. The line does extend through the hallway as well. You are required to wear your mask in the school at all times when you are not eating. So please do make sure that before you eat and when you are done eating, you do have your mask to put on. Once you have your food, you may find a space to eat. In the cafeteria, there is a paw sticker on the tables where you are allowed to sit in order to ensure that everyone has ample space between them. Or if the cafeteria is full, or if you don't need to buy your lunch, you may wait make your way to the gym where there are desks socially distanced and you can eat your lunch in the gym. At least for the first week or so, we're going to have no recess at this time because we are again taking baby steps to work through all of the operations and our plans and procedures to make sure that everything we plan works well. And then if our plan is working well, we can revisit the idea of recess at a later date. At the end of the school day, when it is time for dismissal, our due time for the end of our school day is 2.23. At 2.23, we will use our PA system and we will release anyone who is being picked up. And the pickup location this year is exactly where the drop-off location is. So we ask that parents please be here before 2.23 and line up with one-way traffic going around the building. And then we ask that you stay in that line of traffic until it is your time to exit. If you pull out of the line, you are jeopardizing the health, safety, and wellness of not only our students and our staff. So we ask for your patience with that. We will also release walkers via the PA system. And as school buses arrive, we will make announcements and you will be dismissed by your bus route. So for example, if you take bus route C, 
when your bus pulls into the parking lot, we will make an announcement. And if you are on bus route C, you will leave the building. But if you're on any other bus route, you will remain in the classroom until your bus route is announced. It's very important to be prepared to come back to school. So if you are coming back in person, make sure that you are prepared to be as safe as possible, meaning that you, of course, have a mask. We will have extras if you need it. And you do know how to wear that mask appropriately. We have been going over that in our virtual homeroom. You are also welcome to bring with you additional uh, sanitizer if you would like, but there is plenty throughout the building. We do ask that you bring your school issued computer device and that it is fully charged. So when you go to bed at night, please do plug in your laptop so it can hold a charge for a long time throughout the school day. And we ask that you bring that with you. You will need to carry that as well as all of your other school supplies from class to class. You will be moving classrooms and there are five minutes between classes, which is a lot longer than usual to allow for social distancing in the hallways and our one-way stairwells. We are not using lockers this year in order to keep our hallways nice and open so that we don't have a lot of congestion. So you will need some type of a bag, whether it be a book bag, canvas bag, drawstring bag, some kind of a bag to carry your computer, your school supplies, and any other items you need with you throughout the day. Please do look back to the school supply list that was provided to you at the beginning of the school year. Now, I know that our new schedule is very confusing. On your new schedule, next to your classes with the period, it either says A, B, V, C, or D. Those letters stand for days. So if you have a class that says A, V, C, then you would have that class in person on Mondays, virtually on Wednesdays, and in person again on Thursdays. If you have a class that says B, D, you have that class on Tuesdays and on Fridays. While many of our classes are offered in person, some classes such as PE, band, chorus, and a few others will only be offered on your at-home day. So again, some of your classes are in the building only, and then some of them you will take on your at-home day. If you have certain periods scheduled on your at-home day, you would sign in and be taking that class virtually, while the rest of your at-home day is spent working on the work that your in-person teachers have provided to you when you were in school. In order to make it less confusing, I would suggest drawing yourself a chart, label it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and then go through and figure out what classes you have on which day and make a nice chart to make it easy. If you have any questions or problems with your schedule, please do email your guidance counselor, either Mrs. Jensen, or if you're in the eighth grade, Mr. Kenny. Mrs. Lettery is also available in our guidance office to help you out. You did receive new schedules in the mail. However, we do know that there were some issues with those schedules. And on Sunday, your new schedules will be available to you on Parent Portal. On Sunday, if you do not have Parent Portal, please do either email your guidance counselor, Ms. Lettery, myself or Ms. Coburn, and we will be sure to get you your new schedule via email. Additionally, if you are an all virtual student and you will not be joining us back in school, you will continue to have your all of your classes virtually, but you will need to follow the new schedule that was sent to you because of the fact some classes had to change to accommodate for opening. Also, our bell schedule and the times of classes did change, so please do make sure that you have that available and you know what time to show up for your classes. All of that information has been sent out via email, 
It will be posted on our HMS announcements page and was sent in the regular mail as well. Now, as we return to school, we will be having some clubs and activities. However, they will not be in person. All clubs and activities will be virtual from home. We do have many different clubs for many different interests, and we do hope that you sign up for clubs and we will have more information on that in the upcoming weeks. We will be here to help you through this. We cannot wait to see you. We will have many menly, friendly faces out in the halls, ready to help you find your way, answers any questions you have, to hand you a brand new schedule, Every single student when they enter the building will receive a paper copy of their schedule. We are here to help. We are Huskies. We are Husky strong. We are going to get through this and it is going to be great. We can't wait to welcome you back to the building. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.